All right, let's see. 2021's coming up. I'm going to pick up... Here we go. I think this is what I'm supposed to use. Nine. <sighs> Ten. <laughs> Whew. What a workout. Today I'm going to go over the four best fitness apps to use and download on your phone for 2021. Check it out on The Wellness Doc. Welcome to our channel. Today we are going to go over my four picks for the best fitness apps in 2021. But before we begin, please hit subscribe to the Wellness Doc channel. We release wellness videos, tips and tactics for your mind, body and goals. So let's get into the topic today. We are going to pick the four best apps for 2021. Now there is a crowded field when it comes to tracking your fitness or tracking your goals in general when it comes to apps on your phone, whether it's iPhone or Android. So I picked four apps that fit these two criteria. Criteria number one, I wanted to make sure that the app was initially free. Now apps in particular, there isn't a one size fit all kind of application out there. Some people like Nike, some people like Reebok, some people like Chick-fil-A, some people like Popeyes. So the same is true in the app field. I want to make sure that you enjoy using the app because the more you enjoy it, the more you're going to use it and the more you track something and use an app, you're going to have a higher chance of accomplishing your goal. Criteria number two, I wanted these apps to be user friendly. So a lot of people are tech geeks. I like to get into the details of an app a lot of times, but sometimes I even get lost in the sauce. So I want to make sure these apps were very user friendly. There are other options out there, but it was very difficult to use and kind of get that momentum behind you before you get started. And one thing you don't want to make sure happens at the start of 2021 is your app holding you back from meeting your goals. So let's dive right in. These are in no particular order. Uh, the first one is not my favorite out of the four, but it is the most popular, and that is My Fitness Pal. So I chose My Fitness Pal because this is probably the most popular type of app out there, and it's the most widely used. If you've ever had a personal trainer before, often they are having you log your food and exercise in My Fitness Pal. It has great features like putting in your weight and height and your goals, and it'll tell you approximately what calories to eat. And another good thing about MyFitnessPal is it really integrates with whatever device you may have at the time, whatever eating style you are doing currently, or if you're working with a personal trainer or working out at the gym or even at home. So that's why I picked MyFitnessPal as one of the top four apps for 2021. App number two is called Lose It. Lose It is a food tracking app, but I wanted to include this into my four fitness apps because what you eat is 80% of accomplishing your health and fitness goals. So in order to make sure you're not kind of going off the rails here, Lose It is a great app tracker regardless of what eating program you are on, whether you're doing high calories and trying to build muscle, whether you're doing low carb, if you're a vegan, vegetarian, it really has a full encompassing eating style and for any eating program. So for Lose It, I actually subscribe to this personally and I've seen a ton of success by using this app. App number three is called Strong. This is my favorite app for tracking your exercise. When I was working out at the gym, I would often use Strong. My favorite part of this feature is it has a lot of exercises you'd find at the gym anyway, but if you were ever came across of equipment that you that wasn't in the program, you can add that piece of equipment and exercise in for your personal program. Also, you're able to take pictures in this app. So if you didn't even name the machine, you can just put a picture of the machine on there. And lastly, you can have a view of the last weight or last workout you did, and it also keeps track of the length of your workout. So if you're being a little chatty at the gym, it'll show up in the app as far as your workout took a little bit longer than usual. And finally, this app is not a fitness app, kind of. It is 
not a health app kind of but it is probably the most powerful app why i love this one is it gamifies your habits and your goals now the why i like gamification of things that just means it makes it fun and interactive you get rewards for checking in and marking off your habits in there this one is called done you can find this in the app store and you can see you just name your habit in here anything you want let's say i want to um, read 30 minutes what I also love about this is it has a quit habit option, so you can have streaks in a positive direction or by quitting things in a positive direction, and it will reward you on both ends of that. You can choose daily, weekly, monthly, yearly goals, and then you can also track what days are expected to meet those goals because sometimes you're not gonna exercise every day. It's probably not the best idea to do that anyway. So this was really customizable. A lot of times it's why you're doing it, not what you're doing that you wanna track because that's what will make sure you start to head down the road at completing that habit every single day. If I were starting from scratch, I would probably start with three of these apps, Lose It, Strong, and done. If I'm going to only buy one app and not sure if I'm going to start my fitness program right away because I don't believe you should start your fitness program on January 1st, I would start with the app done because as long as you get good at building habits and building healthy habits and quitting unhealthy habits, it's going to really give you a great foundation for exercising in the future, eating healthier in the future, having better relationships, and it also has that motivational field, something to motivate you, which I just love to dig around on the internet and find things that motivate me to get started every single day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We are going to see you next time on The Wellness Doc. My name is Dr. Eric Duncan, and remember, it is well. Thanks.